All right, fuckers. We are back for another week of this bullshit. <laughs> um, so I guess right off the bat, last night, me and my daughter went to John Mulaney. Um, Anthony, you, don't, you know anything about any of his bits or his comedy or anything? No. Literally, all I know is that he had a show. I didn't even know his name before his show came out, and I never watched his show. So, <laughs> so I, I, I only went because my daughter's a fan of his, and I you know, trying not to be a complete asshole for a dad. And sure. I, I figured that I would take her and I did not think I was going to enjoy it, but <laughs> all right, he's, he's funny, man. He, he, uh, yeah, he's funny. I, I had a good time with it. The, uh, his opener though, his opener was a fucking tool bag. <laughs> <laughs> Who was his opener? Max Sil- Silvestri. I don't know. Max Silvestri. Not good. Well, fuck. So he had me laughing a couple times, which, you know, so the monkey was doing his job. But he he <laughs> he started off right off the bat. I mean, his he, he led with, uh, so I'm a straight white male, so I'm part of the problem. And uh, I was like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't that just put you in a bad mood immediately? It did. Just, but and, just, and, and, and you know what? You know what it's like. You've been to a comedy show before, right? Yes. You know how everybody is is like... Uh, I don't know if it's nervous laughter or if it's the atmosphere that makes everything seem funnier than if you were watching it on Netflix. Yep. I think but, it is. I think it's the atmosphere and everybody around you. You know what I mean? You feel like you have to laugh. But of course I had that fucking, and it was in, a, it was in Durham, North Carolina, um, which is apparently the hipster capital of the world because everybody <laughs> looked the same. They all had them fucking beards and the stupid, fucking handlebar mustache and the horn rim glasses and the fucking slick back hair with that slick stuff. <laughs> so, so so they were cool. Oh, fuck, man. It just don't... And so, of course, every girl that was with them was wearing like a fucking evening gown and shit. And I'm, I'm wearing jeans and a sweatshirt. <laughs> That's how I would have went. A je- That's... That's normal people clothes, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so he he was playing to that crowd, you know, and and of course the fucking chucklehead sitting behind me was, you know, anytime you watch a stand up comedy routine, there's always somebody in the audience that has that distinctive laugh that you. Oh yeah. If they were to sit behind you in real life, you'd want to turn around and fucking throat punch them. <laughs> you know that yes. guy? Yeah, that yep. guy was behind me. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> and and that fucking whatever i said nicholas sparks or whatever the fuck i said that guy max headroom i don't remember his name (laughs) i don't think it's either one of those things (laughs) anyway when he come out and start with that straight white male shit and that fucking dink behind me starts cackling i was like fuck this man i'm out (laughs) god that would that would just be it would just ruin the whole tone of the show man but but everybody else really ate it up so i was the outlier in that (laughs) But anyway, he See, like I said, that's he, horrible. He ended up being funny. He just started yeah. off by pissing right in my fucking mouth. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> speaking of pissing in the mouth, <laughs> oh boy, <sighs> that sucks, man. Are you referencing that tweet that I saved? Yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I just I couldn't help it. <laughs> well, we'll get there, Grasshopper. Oh yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> I'm jump jumping the shark. <laughs> uh, nope, that's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> nope, there's a shark and I'm jumping it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, the, John Mulaney was good. If if there's a chance for you to see him, I don't know if he'll come to your neck of the woods or not. But uh, I'll tell you what our necks are doing in your woods. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you get a chance to see him, you should check him out. It's pretty fucking funny. Huh. Maybe if he does a Netflix special, I'll watch that. Uh, Let's see. What else has happened here? Um, Here's a funny story. This is, so I like to think that I'm kind of a ruffian, you know, almost like a man's man. Uh (laughs) Looking all thick and rugged (laughs) with my beard and tattoos Uh and shaved head and whatnot. Uh Uh, Yep. So I may be a little jumpy sometimes. Um (laughs) So going out to our back porch, we we didn't put it in, but there's a, a cat door. Okay. Um, 
And on the outside of the cat door has got a piece of foam to keep the, the cool air out. So I, I got down on my hands and knees and, and I was looking at the cat door to make sure there's no draft or anything. So I unlocked it and, oh, and pushed. Hold, hold. Did I, I did not catch any of that. Like you, you cut back in when it said draft, when you said draft. All right, we're back, everybody. Uh, so all the com- all the comedy's been sucked out of this show. <laughs> <laughs> this is now a drama podcast. <laughs> all right, so where was I? I am. I like to look at myself as somewhat of an intimidating type person. Um, it has yeah. to. I think it has to do something along the lines with my low self esteem and whatnot. <laughs> but so I, I rely on my my looks to get my way as opposed to my intelligence. Anyway. Uh, so with that being said, I was fucking with that cat door and, uh, I got done and closed it and locked it. And then me and my wife decided we were going to go out to the back porch there and smoke a cigarette. So she walked out first and she pointed down and it, all she did is point down on what was, what was sitting there in front of the door yeah. on the outside, you know? And okay. when I get scared, I shake. You know, like I'm getting electrocuted. <laughs> so okay. I, I started shaking, and then I, I I placed my hand on her shoulder and then pushed yeah. her towards the animal that was out there. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? But I, I didn't do it on purpose. I mean, it was just instinct, you know? Only the strong survive, baby. <laughs> Instinct is to push your wife into the, into the danger. <laughs> so it, it turns out it was that piece of foam that I didn't realize that I knocked out of the door. So she, <laughs> she, she, and all she did is point at it like, hey, look, there's a piece of foam. And I went, oh, she Whoa! knew what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she knew what it was. I didn't. <laughs> oh, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> so, so she got to see yet again how big of a pussy I am. And, <laughs> You know, it, it, no danger whatsoever. For for the second or third time in your marriage, at least? Uh, this week. <laughs> that, that's so funny. I, did, so, I ever, did I ever tell you the story about when I uh, stepped on that possum? No. <laughs> oh, fuck. No. Um, so we had a, uh, a coon problem, this uh, raccoon problem. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, uh, this is like 15 years ago. And uh-huh. I was told to buy this shit at, at uh, the farm supply store. And it was like a, a powder that would kill flies. And if, okay. and if an animal got into it, it would, it would kill them almost instantly. Okay. So I bought some and I, you know, I put it out there by the garbage cans in case the raccoons came. Yeah. So next morning, not that I completely forgot that I did that. And oh. I, I, I step out of the screen door onto the onto the back deck there. And yeah. as I step down, you know, my I'm already moving forward, so it's not like I could backtrack. My yeah. I, I step on something that was I can only describe as like a garbage bag, the a warm garbage bag of jello. But <laughs> <laughs> it was this big like eighty nine pound possum. <laughs> And I, I stepped on them in my bare feet. And when I did, oh. so as I stepped down, I felt it. So then I looked down. So as I'm looking down, all my weight goes on this fucking possum, which causes him to fold and come up. His oh. his head comes up at, you know, up towards me. Yeah. I am telling you, I scream so fucking loud. <laughs> uh, was, it, was it already dead? Yeah. Yeah. It was just chilling there dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, none, none of the guts came out or anything, did they? No, it, it it was only dead for however long it was from the time I went to bed, and it, it got into yeah, that poison. Yeah. But yeah, Yuck. fuck, that scared the <laughs> shit out of me. If I were you, I'd still be scrubbing my foot. <laughs> That's so <laughs> gross. So I went out. I have one of those uh, squirrel cage fans. You know what a squirrel cage fan is? I do. So I had one of those squirrel cage fans in my garage, and I didn't use it for – it was a big one. I hadn't used it for a long time. And it was hot, so I plugged it in, and all of a sudden, all this white looked like fur came shooting out at me, <laughs> and it smelled horrible. 
I'm like, what the fuck is so this? There's this fur nasty shit all over me, and I unplugged it. And I'm, I'm not. I don't know what the fuck this this shit is. So I kind of got looking around there. A raccoon had crawled up into the squirrel cage fan and died. And when I plugged it in, the fucking thing skinned this <laughs> raccoon and shot all the shit all over me. <laughs> literally skinned this fucking raccoon it's like oh my god i about threw up like a ed game (laughs) bukkake yes oh oh it was so fucking horrible oh well all right so moving on (laughs) (laughs) moving on i uh i had this idea that we're gonna do with our our newest sponsor uh don't buy this stuff.com okay so what we're going to do is going to ask everybody that's listening that has an idea. So send us your shirt ideas. Either <laughs> just go to our website. Uh, who's right? What the fuck's our website? Who's right podcast? What, what it, who's right podcast.com. Yeah. So you can either email us through there. I think there's a link or some shit or get us on Facebook or Twitter, whatever. However, just get us your idea. You can either do the graphics yourself or just conceptually, and then we'll get the graphics done. Yeah. Uh, but whatever idea is the funniest, we're going to have him, he, he's going to make that a shirt that he's going to sell on the site and then also send you a free shirt. Not not you, Anthony. You, whoever comes up with that. <laughs> no, I want the shirt. <laughs> he's going to send me a free shirt. So, <laughs> anyway, so get your ideas in. Anyway, I think that's that's a pretty cool deal. Um, yeah, and, that'd be the, all right. Later on, we're going to talk a little bit about that giveaway that we're doing between uh, him and so it's don't don't buy the stuff and my BDSM or something. Oh, we're giving away dildos, so that's cool. <laughs> Fuck yeah, <laughs> we're the show that gives away dildos, man. <laughs> I I hope the only thing I can hope is that like John from Brand X wins the the grand prize <laughs> which yeah. which is a new dildo every month for six months uh-huh i don't know why i, I want that i mean <laughs> i i hope he does and i hope he takes pictures of them for the website <laughs> in use me and me and john have had i don't want to get into it a whole lot but we've kind of had a, a rocky week this week and and Uh-oh. i told him i i am and i'm being serious now i i am not going to feud with his show anymore it's it's he's gotten to the point that he don't trust me he thinks that anytime somebody says something bad i'm behind it and uh, it's just Uh, and he's he's helped he's helped us way too much to uh to jeopardize ruining the friendship over sure whatever over a joke just just being funny yeah we're we're just doing we're just doing comedy here man come on he don't he don't have a problem with anything that we've said i don't think but i'm being accused of anybody that has anything negative to say about him or his show on Twitter or Facebook, he thinks I'm behind it. So, <laughs> can can I just go on the record and say maybe it's just that his show sucks? <laughs> can I? Can, am I allowed to say that? <laughs> no. All right. No. See, that's what we're not going to do anymore. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was a joke. Your show's fine. I'm just fucking around. <clears throat> You're not allowed to talk bad about it anymore, Anthony. Do you understand? You are yes, officially I understand. Being, you are being censored. <laughs> I am being censored. Okay, I I accept that outcome. We we are we are looking for a list of things from John uh, that we are no longer allowed to talk about. <laughs> All right. And if uh, Julia Miranda's butthole is on there, then we are going to piss on that uh, <laughs> list and tell him to shove it up yep. his ass. Well, well y- yep. <laughs> <laughs> that that can't be taken off the table or put on the table. Wait, I don't, I don't know how that works. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that we should just do. That's the name of the episode: Juliet Miranda's butthole. <laughs> so, <laughs> yep, we're just we're striving straight for it, man. <laughs> We've been working at it for the past three or four episodes. Now <laughs> we're just fuck. It's right there. Ah, oh, fuck! I got an idea. I know what we're gonna do. All, All right. right. I think that I am going to create no. See, if I say I'm going to do it, then it, it when it happens because I'm too lazy to actually do it. I'm going to get charged uh-huh. a felony for for harassing her butthole. <laughs> charged a felony, <laughs> and I ain't <laughs> I ain't doing no time over her butthole. 
I, I'll spend lots of time over it. <laughs> uh, so I think that we should create a Twitter bot and call it Julia Miranda's butthole. And the only thing that it mm-hmm. does is is retweet her stuff. But every time it says, anytime she says y'all, it it changes it with with like butthole or starfish or <laughs> chili hole. Starfish. Juliet Miranda's chili hole. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <sighs> it's too much. It's just too much. So I I actually did I um I think you you have asked me if if Dave is upset about us always talking about his wife's butt or whatever. So <laughs> yeah. I was I was talking nope. to him on the phone. What? Yeah. You said no. Oh oh I said no. I, I it's not her butt, it's her butthole. There's a big oh. difference. <laughs> um yeah, so I was talking to, I was actually talking to Dave today, and we were talking about the podcast and Twitter or whatever, and, and I had made a comment to him that it, it, no matter what I put on Twitter, he has a, a way of turning it into a fat joke against me. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. he's like, yeah, I, I almost feel bad about it because it happens so much or whatever. I said, Dave, you know, I talk about your wife's drinking gravy out of your wife's butthole every week. <laughs> <laughs> I I can take a fat joke. <laughs> I can take a fat joke. It's okay. <laughs> oh shit! I'm not stopping until we get a cease and desist letter. <laughs> it's got to be signed by her butthole. There's got to be a butthole print yeah. on it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. She's gonna have to put lipstick on her butthole and do a little kiss. <laughs> I want to see it in the lineup. I'm gonna poke that thing. I'll, I'll point that thing out. <laughs> Uh, so if there is um, a bottom for, for our podcast, I think this is probably it. Her, <laughs> this is the gutter. <laughs> I. So if you've ever said anything offensive, I think that's it. <laughs> what? That this is the bottom? Yeah. How do you think? How do you think poor Juliet feels saying you accusing her butthole of being the bottom of the barrel? <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I think we need to go back to uh, one is comedy. This this is the gutter. We need to stay out of the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need well. to talk about more highbrow. We need to talk about highbrow stuff. All right. Well, so I guess we can. So I got something here that this is from our friend Roxy Ray. She tweeted this out, <laughs> this and is I highbrow. <laughs> uh I I don't even know what drove this tweet. Um but I'll just I'll just read it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just read the last hashtag. <laughs> right, here we go. Yeah. Um So this was sent out at 12:17 a.m. January 26, 2018 by Roxy Ray. We don't do it all the time. But having my man pee up my ass feels amazing. <laughs> hashtag alternative enema. Hashtag butt sex. Hashtag home stuff. Hashtag homemade lemonade. <laughs> God. <laughs> How would that even come up in conversation? You know, <laughs> I, so I, I don't know how it would come up in conversation. But I, I guarantee you that this is going to be the new fetish, like that everybody's clamoring over. Oh, God, horrible. Uh, have you ever? Oh, I'll ask. You can tell mm. me. Fuck off. You ever put your dick in a butt? <laughs> no, I have not. God All right, whatever. So, so I don't understand how you get to that point. Okay, so <laughs> you, you, I have had my. Yeah, you know what? That's irrelevant. <laughs> All right, so what, what, that's a, what, no. I think it's pretty relevant. What, <laughs> what what I don't understand is I don't understand when. Okay, so you, it, it's another level to your relationship when you put your dick in in a woman's butthole, right? Sure. I mean, so it's that's not like first date shit normally. <laughs> no, not not normally. You have to get to a point where there's some communication. Open communication. Yep. 
at what point is your communication so open that one of them says, <laughs> I want you to pee in my butthole or can I pee in your butthole? <laughs> and boom, there is a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> can i pee in your butthole yes i, I don't think i would wear that <laughs> <laughs> you pussy i mean it would look cool hanging in my closet but i don't think i could wear that um so i guess i can never understand that whole world because where is the line of communication open enough to where your wife goes to work gets fucked in the ass by 12 dudes and then comes home and you guys watch friends together. I mean, what? so that, I, that, that part I have, I have zero issue with it. To me, sex is just that it's just sex. And if somebody has the ability to make money off of it, more power to them. I don't, I don't care. I don't judge that. No, I'm not I, judging it. I'm not, I'm not judging it at all. I'm, I'm saying that you have to be pretty fucking secure in yourself to know that your wife is out doing that and then come home and yeah, hey, I mean, I mean she, 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 she's out going to work, you know, and, and <laughs> no, I, I'm ser- I'm not trying to be funny. I think that they probably have a, a type of relationship where they, they both understand that it's just sex. Right. I mean, that, cause that's all it yeah. is. Sure. The, the fact that there's four bowling pins and a, <laughs> <laughs> You know, so, you know, like uh, most most couples, you know, the, the husband, whatever, comes home from work and uh, the toilet seats up and you start doing investigating and shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, and with her, there's you walk in the house and there's a power drill and an empty box of cereal. You're like, what the fuck have you been doing? Huh. Power drill and an empty box of cereal, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah. So, all right. Yeah, we- I don't know. I, I, it does, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, like I said, I think I've said this before. I, I can't equate pee with anything sexual because that's just gross. Poop and pee. Nope, I'm out. <laughs> anything else, I'm cool. But anything poop and pee related is not sexual. <laughs> what about puke? <laughs> no, that's oh god, no. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you, nope. you've got to, you've got to pick one. You've either got to let me pee in your butthole or puke in your mouth. Oh, you're definitely peeing in my butthole. <laughs> John, can you please clip that for me? <laughs> I mean, if I had to choose, you know. All right. <laughs> gun to my head, you know. <laughs> gun, gun to my head. You're peeing in my butt. <laughs> All right, um, you want to knock out micro cheating? We've been dra- yeah, we've been dragging let's, that let's on for that. fucking three months, Ugh. at least. So you said at one point that we were going to argue about this. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> you don't or you don't remember that? <laughs> like you you knew how I was going to feel about this. Okay, yeah. So read read the uh, it's an article, right? Just. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it says, micro-cheating is on the rise, and you're probably doing it without realizing. It turns out that according to psychologists, you can be cheating on your partner without even realizing it. The concept comes as a new sign of trouble in paradise from Melanie Schilling's talk with female about a term, a new term called micro-cheating. She outlines what it is, how it works, and how you can spot one or find out if you're doing it or not. The term micro-cheating is is supposed to serve as an umbrella term for all the little ways, both emotionally and or physically, that you can be unfaithful to your partner. Some examples of micro-cheating can be secretly connecting with someone on social media, sharing private jokes with them, and then downplaying the seriousness of your relationship to your partner and or putting the person under a different name or code on your phone. <clears throat> Schilling explained that all of those seemingly small secrets add up to covert flirtation, That you are hiding from your partner. All those sneaky small things you're doing are hiding for a reason, she says. In the age of social media, it's become a new and concerning trend in the dating world for partners to become overly secretive with whom they are talking to. All right. 
There's more, but let's I think argue, that, that that pretty much sums it up, you know. Let's argue about it. <laughs> <laughs> let's argue about it. <laughs> so, according to this article, uh, I me that means that you are micro cheating on your wife with me, right? <laughs> no. Why not? Why would you? I want to be micro cheated, micro cheated on, <laughs> micro cheated with, micro cheater. Right? <laughs> So you have a you have a you have a relationship with me that you don't tell your wife everything about. I do not have a relationship with you that I am hiding from my wife. You don't she openly was to ask tell me, her hey, what did you guys what you guys talk about? I would say pissing in each other's buttholes. <laughs> Huh. She, and Maybe go, I'm wrong then. She'd go, oh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you <use> guys. <laughs> so I'm guessing right, you put so this up take... here. I'm guessing you put this up here because you don't think that it's a thing. No, it's stupid. <laughs> right. Okay. This is retarded. <laughs> so how would you feel if I was going to use his name, but we'll, we'll just say a guy from where you work at. If yeah. you if you found out that your wife had been texting him, and instead of using his name, she put in the name Claire, and <laughs> and never told you about it that they they were texting all the time and and she was lying about it. That'd be different. Well, that's what the fuck this is talking about. <laughs> no, no, it'd be different because that would be her doing it to me. So it's different. Oh, okay, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you understand? <laughs> that would that would make her a micro whore. <laughs> <Yeah>. Exactly. <clears throat> so I think my I th- problem with this, once I read it, okay, I understand, I get it, whatever. But my problem is, is that all these, it's it's really clickbaity. It, it, micro cheating is on the rise, and you're probably doing it without realizing it. And are you micro cheating? Just, just stop being a fucking douche with the articles that you write. You're probably doing it without realizing it. Ugh. I just want to choke somebody when I read shit like this. So, so I think my problem with it is that it has to have a label, micro cheating. It's just yeah. cheating. Yeah. Um, if, if, if it's you just were being having, an asshole. If you have a relationship out and you're hiding it from somebody, you're then you're obviously doing something wrong. Yeah, exactly. I agree with that. You don't have to have a new term. And, and I, I agree with you the way the article was written, so... Whatever, maybe, maybe it, it. I mean, the conversation really isn't worth having. We both agree, so yeah, and, and yeah, that's yeah, no yeah. fun. No, that's no fun at all. I thought it was going to be a little different, but it's just the way the article's written. It just is irritating. <laughs> don't write, right. don't you write know what? articles so, like that. Fuck it, I'm going to attack you anyway. <laughs> all right, have at her. Uh, so this don't really count. You put this up like three weeks, four weeks ago, and we've just been okay. sitting on it. Um, yep. It. If you're going to put an article up, put it up for content, not for the style that the that it was written in. <laughs> nope. If, if, I, if I'm going to put an article up, I'm going to put it up because I think it's funny. That's my only criteria. Right, but... <clears throat> it, see, you got no argument. I do, I do. <laughs> That's the only criteria. <laughs> I do, but... Uh, I read it, or you read it, and then we discussed, and you're like, yeah, no, I understand that. It's just... It's clickbaity. Yeah, it is. Well, that's not that wasn't the premise that that it was. Whatever, fine. You're right. I'm not going to argue. <laughs> I, I ain't got it in me. <laughs> Don't be so, so clickbaity, so, fuckers. Micro cheating is stupid. It's not a thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got that one solved. Turns out I'm right on that one. Yep. <laughs> the. the so, you know, I, I had told you I wasn't sure that I wanted to record today. I'm yeah. just not feeling it, you know. So if you got anything yeah, yeah. else that you've been holding back that you thought maybe we'd have an argument on, now's the time to roll it out because I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the time to argue? I, I you just, don't have it in you to argue with I just me? don't have the energy to argue with you today. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Sometimes it's rough, you know. You know, I, I, I've noticed that I don't know if you're sick or what, but I've noticed you've been coughing a lot more today, and I don't even have the – passion or energy to address that it's just like yeah just fucking let him cough i don't care <laughs> just, just fuck it i don't fucking care anymore you would think after a, after a year you would think you would just be used to it you wouldn't even hear it anymore because i i don't 
I, I was told that we should uh, get a new sponsor instead of the two that we have. Yeah. You know, because, I mean, so I think two is probably enough. I don't know that I want any more because I, okay. I, I don't want to keep dropping shit in all the time. But, like, Hall's Cough Drops, if we could get them. <laughs> nope, I'm, st- I'm sticking with Steakums. I don't care. I know it has nothing to do with coughing, but I'm sticking with trying to get Steakums. <laughs> okay. Because I just want to have, it's emulsified. <laughs> I just think that's funny. Well, do, you, do you think that that could be their new tagline? <clears throat> does, that, does that make people want to eat Steakums? <laughs> Anybody home? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Just didn't think that was funny. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I'm, so now I'm just to the point, I'm going to try to make the rest of the show as painful for you as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, this is going to go downhill quick. What, what the fuck did I put on here? Fridges. Oh, did you see <laughs> that? Fridges. Yeah. $64 trillion or $24 million. I was close. It, <clears throat> so I... I, I you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. That. Next. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why don't you talk about your uh, your serial killer that you found? Oh, fuck. Well, you got to give me a second. <laughs> this show is a trade wreck, I, I, man. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was not ready for that at all. I wanted to have it pulled up. <laughs> exactly. Well, everybody, while Anthony is doing his homework here, um, I want to talk a little bit about this giveaway that we're doing. So we've got two sponsors, uh, don't buy this stuff.com and I think it's my BDSM supply. <laughs> so Anthony, can you talk while I'm looking this up and then I'll cover you? <laughs> Wow, <laughs> man, our show is awesome. I'll cover you while you're talking, and then uh huh. All right, so it's mybdsmsupply.com. dot <laughs> com. Uh, so you, you're gonna start seeing on Facebook and Twitter because that's the only social media that the show uses how to enter into the giveaway. And I, I'm there is a bunch of shit that we are gonna have to give away. Like I said earlier. The grand prize is going to be a dildo a month or a sex toy a month every month for six months. Um, uh, I think it's like a bondage kit, like get into bondage the the easy way or my first bondage kit or something. I don't know. <laughs> my first bondage <laughs> kit. <laughs> it's all yellow and, you know, like bright yellow and blue. <laughs> oh, my God. You're killing me. Um and then uh, uh, don't buy this stuff. It's putting up all kinds of merchandise as well. But let's see here. The, we... the main thing is we're giving away dildos. That's all. <laughs> That's the main thing to see here. <clears throat> yeah. I, I, so I, I, I'm excited. Um, we're, we're probably going to, I would imagine it's going to go on for two or three weeks. Um, there's like a bunch of show shit, you know, like our shirts and, but then there's all kinds of other shit from, from don't buy the stuff. Just please follow us on one of the social medias. Uh, <laughs> medias. Is, is. Yeah. Uh, like I said, uh, I, I think maybe I want that dildo of the month club or something. I, you know what? I would like to, uh, <clears throat> I would like to win that, and I'll give them away when I'm done with them. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, should should we should we say that we are not allowed to win it? Yeah, I, I thought it went without saying, but yeah, we'll say that. We're not well, allowed to win it. Well, God damn it, it didn't go without saying. I'm always looking for an angle. Because what I wanted to do is I wanted to win a butt plug. And then I was going to see if Juliet would sign it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she would. I'm, I'm speaking so? for her now, you know? <laughs> I mean, no, I don't. You know, I mean, I'm sure she would say, fuck you guys. <laughs> what did, what did she call us? Scamps. 
Scamps. <laughs> that, that just sounds weird. Uh, I had to look it up because I thought she was calling me some kind of seafood from Red Lobster or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think those are scampy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good though scamps scampy whatever oh maybe maybe roxy would maybe she'd sign it oh i'm sure she would she's that way though juliet's a nice upstanding woman so well so what way is that way not a nice upstanding woman <laughs> That's harsh. That was, I don't know what's not that way. You back me into a corner. I'm not trying to say nothing bad. You, no, you, there was nobody standing in front of you and you jumped in the corner and started lashing out at people. <laughs> I, Cause I'm that way. <laughs> I, I, so I, I'm pretty sure you just called her a nasty person. I did. Yes. Cause she would sign, cause she would sign a butt plug. Yes. That's what you said. Cause she's that way. The, that way, being the type of person that would sign a butt plug. That what's nasty about that? <laughs> so you wouldn't you wouldn't sign a butt plug? Of course I would. <laughs> okay, so if anybody has a yes. butt plug that they want Anthony to sign, please send it. <laughs> I'd sign it in my own poop. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say it like that? Because I <laughs> because that's just the way that it came out. As I was saying it, I'm like, what the fuck. <laughs> I don't even know what's coming out of my mouth anymore. Exactly. The, the way it came it with, out of my mouth. I would sign it with my own poop. Own poop. <laughs> <clears throat> poop. Oh, I'm going to okay. edit that in. Poop. <laughs> so uh, it sounds like in your, your fishing around on Twitter, you found yourself a serial killer. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm, I, in the next six to eight months, I think this guy is going to end up uh, being found out as a serial killer. So <laughs> I don't know how I, I came about this, but so Reese Witherspoon, the, the actress had tweeted out something about Barbie dolls. She's got a picture of a Barbie doll with red hair. And it says when a childhood dream comes to life, excited to reveal my very own at Mattel doll based off my red haired alter ego, Mrs. What's it from wrinkle in time. It's just, Whatever, that's a nothing tweet. She's just excited about some Barbie doll that's coming out. <clears throat> and this guy at Miller Artworks, I think he replied 50, 60, 70 times to, to that tweet. I'm not I'm not even making that up. He replied over and over and over. So here's one of them. It is the base, though bitter, disposition of Beatrice that puts the world into her person and so gives me out. Well, I'll be revenged as I may. William Shakespeare, Act Two, Dash One. <laughs> what? Hey, yep. You, you don't. You don't think that's somebody like you? No. Just bored. No. I mean, just bored and, and deciding to write random shit on people's posts. Mm, you, you think? I don't know because it says something about him being drunk and louder. They have. Difficulty with discrimination. Many of these patients claim I can hear, but I can't understand. Introduction to audiology, second edition, Frederick N. Martin. <laughs> yeah, I think he's just like copying and pasting shit and just just tweeting. I mean just just copying and pasting words and just tweeting it out there. So here's a bunch to Taylor Swift. Uh, I, I he, he tweeted to, I mean, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tweets to Taylor Swift. And I think they're all a reply to the same. Uh, Taylor Swift tweeted, North American dates on sale now. <clears throat> plus, I'm learning. And, and his reply was, plus, I'm learning what faith is right now in my life. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out the best way to explain how I experienced the kingdom of God in my life. <clears throat> You can also not have joy, and when I say joy, it's almost the same as when people say faith. Where I'm at now in my studies after 12 years, it's more like 15 years of personal Bible study and struggling poverty, all the stuff, pers persecution. Okay, yeah, that's fine. He's and, uh, a fucking serial killer. <laughs> he, he's, he, I mean, it, it just, and I'm like scrolling, 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 scrolling. All of these replies are to that one tweet from Taylor Swift. I, I'm serious. There's probably 
50, 100, 200. <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> I don't it sounds like you don't know how numbers work. <laughs> I don't. 17? <laughs> Isn't that a number? <laughs> oh fuck. Once All you're right. in faith and sober, you know that when you walk by the faith and with patience, years from now you can inherit the promises. Come on, Taylor Swift. <laughs> Like your North American tour dates are available. I mean, come on. <laughs> Fucking so check this guy out at Miller Artworks. Everybody needs to follow him. I checked out who was fo- he has like 150 followers, so I checked out his followers. And a lot of his followers are celebrities, but not real celebrities. They're like people that made Twitter accounts with the celebrity's name, but they're not the genuine account. He probably had 10 different celebrities following him that are fake celebrities. <laughs> How many do we have that follow us? <laughs> None. <laughs> we have we have no fake celebrities. I don't know. I know a couple. They think they're celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But. This uh, technical difficulties has got me just beyond fucking flustered. Yeah, I understand. We can call it a call it a show if you want, but we're gonna have to do something about this because uh, we can't go on like this. Yeah, I, I, uh, if if you were to ask me right now if I want to record next week using this same way we've been doing it, I would just say let's pass and you know see see how the show goes without any new additions. <laughs> Without no. any, without any new additions. Yeah, no more, no more new episodes. We're just, we're just done here. Just keep recycling um, the old ones. <laughs> God, it's fucking frustrating. If so, I, I know there's quite a few podcasters that listen, um, and anybody else that's not into podcast podcasting isn't going to give a shit about this. Anthony and I are in different states. We have tried using, uh, what is it, Cast or yeah, TriCast, whatever the fuck it's called. We tried, we tried using ZenCaster. Zencaster, right. Google Hangouts, yeah. um, Discord. Yes. Um, any, any advice that anybody can give to us that because we're we're struggling, we 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 drop in and out. We can't hear each other. Um. All right. Yeah. So. All right. Bye. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I want to run through this shit real quick. <laughs> um yeah so thank you peter norica for our theme song make sure you go to who's right podcast.com along with my bdsm supply.com and don't buy this stuff.com follow us on facebook and twitter call our voicemail at 508-974-4489 are we wait i got a, i got a question what <laughs> Are we still on the Hush Your Face Network? <laughs> Don't forget to check us out over on the Hush Your Face Network. Hushyourface.com. So, so we are? <laughs> yeah. I, I was being serious. I wasn't sure if they if it would just if it timed out if no activity or <laughs> uh four oh four uh network not found. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh shit! God, this sucks, man. We had a good show coming up. I know. I Mal thought we one. had some decent shit. Ma- you know, maybe next time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think we've been saying that for a year, right? <laughs> maybe next year. Maybe the next right. year's worth of shows will be good. <clears throat> you got anything right. else you want to say? No, I think I'm going to start apologizing at the end of every show, though. So sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, buy our shirts and shit, and give us money on Patreon. <laughs> Damn it, that's my line. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot. Um, Leave us a voicemail. I want to hear what you think about how our show sucks. 508 974 4489. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Uh, hey, what's up? I am uh, uh, testing this recording thing. So I'm recording our conversation. Uh, just the one sided. I wanted to see if it's going to pick up me moving the microphone around or uh, you, your voice through the speaker. Um, so, am I going to have to zip the file to send it to you? I know what it is. I don't have one. Yeah. Do you have Dropbox? Is there a limit to the file size? Huh? Uh, wave file. Wave, huh? Uh, wave
wave file. Wave, uh, uh, wave file. Wave files are pretty big. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, wave file. Wave files are pretty big. All right. Well, I'll give that a try. Or, uh, it, or one. Uh, or, uh, uh, drive. Or, uh, 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 u